Okay, hello YouTube. Um, giving you guys a quick update. I'm actually making wiring right now for my experiment. I had a few posts since my last update online. Um, a few people were concerned that somehow or another a capacitor in a uh, parallel setting and series setting to a battery bank could possibly result in it um, shorting out. A few of you have also said that it could charge to the maximum potential of the bank. And a few of you have said the experiment won't work. So just just looking at this thing, I wanted you guys to get that quick update before I actually uh, finish making the cables and coupling everything together. I have my safety equipment around me, fire extinguisher, goggles, all those good things. Um, in the likely event that this does fail, uh, basically the capacitors would blow. If I were to wire it in 48 volts and it were to charge all the way to 48 volts. So what I'm doing instead is... I'm running a bench test and I'm running instead of four uh, batteries in parallel to this bank I'm actually going to split this into two I'm going to have two uh, 27 DC2 type batteries tied up in series for 24 volts and I'll have a battery and a super capacitor wired up as a separate um, bank in, in series and I'll parallel those two together and put a load on it to see what the behavior is for the capacitor. My uh, theory still is that the capacitor will keep the charge of the battery bank and take less of a hit on the actual battery. So that's where I'm at. Uh, pausing the video until I can get these cables connected and now let you guys see how it works. <laughs> 